All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you guys another video. Here today, we're gonna to be taking a look at VeChain. Today's date is August 6, 2019. Uh, VeChain has just recently come out with some cool news uh, regarding its wine traceability platform. So let's go ahead and take a look further at the uh, prices here. So to get things started with this video, you know, taking a look at VeChain, I gotta say, if you are a holder, if you're an investor in VeChain, you have a very strong stomach. <laughs> I will give you that. Um, for somebody who's endured 2018, the bear market, I know how hard it is. I know how heavy those bags are, guys. <laughs> so, I mean, right now the price of VeChain is just completely getting decimated compared to Bitcoin. And we see that pretty much throughout the entire altcoin space. Uh, Bitcoin is really the only one that's feeling the love right now. So, you know, for VeChain holders, for VeChain believers, just hang in there. You know, there's definitely a use case. This project has a lot of promising things going for it. So we're going to be talking a little bit about the wine traceability platform, as well as VeChain's blockchain as a service. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, if you found some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future videos. We talk about content like this pretty much on a daily basis. I'm gonna be releasing videos on different altcoins, different cryptocurrency projects. So definitely be sure to stay tuned for that. So to get things started, I've got the article pulled up here. I'm gonna leave this article in the description below. So if you'd like to check it out, please be sure to do that. So let's go ahead and read aloud here. So it's saying, 40 years of explosive economic growth has made China the second largest economy in the world and helped create millions of middle-class households. With the improvement of living standards and the change in lifestyle, drinking wine has become increasingly more popular among the better off Chinese citizens. According to the research report, China imported $3.9 billion worth of wine in 2018, up by 6.5% year on year. So China will become the world's second largest wine consumer by 2023 with a market value estimated to be worth $23 billion. So the wine market in China is booming. It's, it's growing on a massive scale right now. And what VeChain's initiative and what they're trying to do is to be able to track the legitimacy of these different wines. You know, a lot of these wines may have a counterfeit label or they may come in from an origin that's not specifically stated on you know, their shipment invoice, right? So there's no real way to be able to track the origin and the legitimacy of these fine wines. But what with VeChain, what they're doing, they're actually allowing blockchain to solve that issue by creating these NFC tags. So we can take a look and see, this is their branded NFC tag. So it's really nice to see that it's got a really elegant design, really nice look. It's subtle and it gives the bottle a little bit of character. So if we scroll down here, it's saying that the booming market has caught the eyes of both the savvy wine producers and cunning copycats and counterfeiters. So in November 2017, the Shanghai police seized 14,000 bottles of counterfeit penfolds worth over a million dollars. Five months later, police officers in Shenzhou um, busted over 50,000 fake bottles worth over $2.8 million. Given the nature of wine fraud, these reported cases are only the tip of the iceberg. So wineries and distributors have taken various anti-counterfeiting measures to combat fraudulent sales. So to tackle the issue, one of the major importers in China, which is DIG, so Direct Imported Goods Limited, uh, is working with VeChain to help solve this issue. So using the VeChain toolchain, a uh, blockchain as a service platform offered by VeChain, so DIG is able to track essentially the origin and the legitimacy of these different wines that are being imported into the country. And they're saying that according to their statistics, the wines that are using this type of service have actually increased in sales. So it's saying an average of 10% increase in sales resulting from enhanced consumer confidence. So when a consumer goes to pick up a bottle of wine or anything really for that matter, the fact that you know exactly where it came from 
you know, spending your hard earned money on something, you know for a fact that this is where it came from. This is how it's, you know, been produced. This is legitimate. This is exactly what it says on the label. That is something that people are willing to pay for, and it shows. So very interesting to see. I think that the use case for this is huge, and being that the wine market in China is only continuing to grow, this is something that's really promising for VeChain and their blockchain as a service platform. So if we scroll down here, this is just talking a little bit about some of the stores that are now offering this type of wine offered by uh, you know VeChain that has their NFC chip on it. So it's really cool. And it goes on to talk about also how VeChain is partnering with different things like Walmart, China, BMW. So I did also do a video on VeChain Walmart's initiative. Um, they're based in China right now and they might potentially be moving into the western side of the world. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check out that video, there's a lot of information there about the uh, Walmart and VeChain partnership. But in this video, just talking about the wine initiative. Now I had mentioned blockchain as a service platform offered by VeChain. So for those of you who are interested, I was looking on their website just to try and learn more about it. And I gotta say, I remember VeChain's website was, you know, pretty, I guess they had a really cool graphic, right? Like it was visually appealing, but there wasn't a whole lot of information until recently. I feel like they've really done up the website and it looks amazing. So right here, if you click on products and services on the VeChain website, so they describe the tool chain as this right here. So VeChain's blockchain as a service platform is called Toolchain. So Toolchain is a comprehensive blockchain platform offering diverse services, including product lifecycle management, supply chain process control, data deposit, data certification, and process certification. So with Toolchain, any size business, no matter how large or small, can utilize blockchain technology to further enhance brand perception and value, as well as to expand into new business models using immutable data. So very interesting. I think that's super cool. It proves a significant use case and adoption for VeChain. So for you VeChain hodlers out there, you know, keep on hodling. There is going to be a time and a place for VeChain. So last little bit that I have for you guys here to kind of restore a little bit of hope <laughs> for, for you hodlers. Um, I got a tweet from Crypto Rick. So if you think you're a small player in crypto by holding 50 or sorry 500,000 to a million V chain, think twice. You're a holder of the biggest ecosystem building it under everyone's eyes right now. So invest, hodl and spread the word. All right. Well, Crypto Rick, shout out to you. So guys, that is pretty much what I have for you in this video. I would love to know your thoughts. Are you guys hodling V chain? What are you thinking about their adoption and growth initiatives? Are they making progress? Would you like to see more? So let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down in the description below and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.